Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is May 12, 2015. The time is 0808 a.m. Eastern Time here in upstate New York, the southern tier of New York State, where I live and reside this morning. And we have Leslie and we have uh, Devel underscore four <laughs> LOS. I think I need to follow you guys on Twitter. I've seen you, uh, you're you following me here on Periscope. Good morning. And we have, uh, uh, I want to say also to the live web viewers, we've got 12 viewers. Let's see. We've got a bunch of them coming in here today. Al, David, Leon, Bill, NN1. Greg, good morning, sir. Good morning, Greg. We have uh, a full house here. And um, I want to say welcome to my morning Periscope here. I just want to say, uh, I think everybody's heard about the deadly uh, earthquake or aftershock earthquake this morning in Nepal that happened. Uh, it was a 7.3 according to the U.S. Geological Survey. I just want to express my thoughts and concerns to those uh, uh, in Nepal, both the, the, the people that live in that country as well as uh, all those, uh, the international uh, response to uh, help out and assist after the first uh, earthquake that was devastating. Um, uh, let's see, uh, it was powerful enough to cause significant damage to this morning, sending still uh, shaking Nepalese running out of the buildings. Uh, from what reports I've also heard, there's not really too many major buildings left after the first one, but it's still a concern. I guess it lasted about 30 some seconds. And right now, the Nepal Home Minister is saying that about 36 people, um, they've got reported killed in the earthquake and 1,000. And there was three, two people that were killed as far as India. So that's pretty, um, pretty mind-boggling to the scope of what uh, these earthquakes can do. Uh, the earthquake hit between uh, Kathmandu and Mount Everest and was shallow uh, with the U.S., GS, uh, estimating the depth of only about 10 miles in depth. There's still a small army of international aid workers in Nepal, and helicopters were dispatched almost immediately. And that's the one thing they really need is uh, helicopters. Uh, I think they, they probably have more than enough workers and emergency folks, but uh, the resources of getting around... Um, the helicopters are a must, and having uh, an emergency services background, um, being a retired, retired firefighter, um, I, I can uh, only express that uh, the helicopters are probably their, the prime mode of transportation to get in over in the rural areas and, and whatnot. So again, my thoughts and concerns are out to the Nepal people, as well as uh, hoping those rescue workers and um, um, uh, people that are responding to help out in Nepal, that um, they stay safe. And uh, we'll just see what happens in the news. But this Periscope, I'm having the morning coffee. I was up early this morning, did not sleep in, um, given the news. But uh, I want to talk about the uh, update yesterday. Sort of a minor update to... Uh, uh, our uh, new toy that we're playing with here on the internet, the Periscope. And I guess one of the big things that they're pulling out on this update is that you can use Periscope without a Twitter account. I don't know why you would want to do that. Twitter is freaking great. I love Twitter. But the new uh, update released today, or actually yesterday, um, for Twitter iOS only, still waiting for that Android, the Android to come out uh here, I don't know. Maybe we might, we might we may get an update. Does can they get two updates in uh, in two days through Apple, or is it? Do you have to? Is there a waiting period? I don't know. I'm going to be watching closely because I know my. <laughs> yeah, you guess the 14th. My week is this week, Greg. If, uh, for all you uh, that are on um, this broadcast here, as well as my web viewers, who I greatly appreciate viewing this from the web, get the app. So you can uh, take part in the conversation, and it's one of the updates I'm going to talk about. But uh, me and Greg have sort of an ongoing thing here. I have this week, and I think he has the, uh, the week of the 29th, the end of the, the thing. So if I don't get it this week, 
and it comes in after this, the end of this week, Greg wins the bet, and I'll have to buy him a beer next time, whenever we meet up, and the uh, first round is on me. But uh, uh, the, the live streaming app, Periscope, uh, you no longer need a Twitter account. Good morning, David. Good morning. We're just uh, just talking about Nepal earlier, the, the devastation and wishing those uh, workers and uh, the people that live over there uh, our, our thoughts and concerns. I know that's going to be the highlight subject uh, for today, uh, and I just wanted to highlight that, though I, I didn't want to really focus other than the fact that um, uh, our thoughts and concerns are, yeah, say it, say it again, and we'll have to see how that plays out today. So I'll be, I'll be monitoring that. Um, but I'm talking about the the Twitter update that took or the Periscope update, and um, but it means you no longer need a Twitter account to start a broadcast uh, your video through the service on your smartphone, and um, the update also makes it easier to reply to comments. Now this is the one thing I thought was pretty interesting, but using it yesterday, and I did use it with David and Greg yesterday in some Periscopes. And from you know a user perspective, I almost got the impression that a couple of the periscopes I was in, the individual that was hosting the periscope thought that was an individual giving a comment. So it's I think it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit to get acclimated uh, with as far as uh, that particular update. I like the update. I really do. It's a, it's a really neat uh, uh, thing because it's you know for those that are aware of it. I was on the on this thing called the internet yesterday when uh, it it broke. I guess I just it just happened to pop up, and I'm like, wow, you know, to be uh, Johnny on the spot there. I think I was an hour off, but I ended up coming across something that told me about the update. But the update comes uh, about six. Can, let's see, David can be a bit distracting to the presenter. Yes, because the presenter it, it just has to focus in. Interesting new feature. I got impression people periscoping didn't like it. I don't know. I, I, I think it's the the final take is still out. Um, it, like I said, for an update, wasn't really much of an update, but it was an update all the same. And uh, so it's a little bit of progress there. Uh, I got that same impression that the presenter is sort of like looking at the comments. And uh, it, it sort of was a little bit of a distracting. But uh, the update comes six weeks after Twitter first released the app onto the market and two months after Twitter purchased Periscope so we can see progress you know if anything these little subtle updates are showing progress to the app and again I want to say uh, let's see David's still here Greg Bill uh, Gooden and Leslie is still here thank you very much as well as our web viewers um, I'm, I'm almost thinking Bernie Goldbach is one of the web viewers yeah, agree, and you and David, although I think it's cool. Yeah, I do think it's cool. I think it's a good, I like it. I'll, I'm going to be using it, and uh, and it, it, the people that are aware of it that are on here on this Periscope, exchanging ideas, communicating, and, and the like. Um, uh, but uh, let's see, so we got Meerkat as the counter and the Periscope, but uh, both apps have weaknesses at the early stage in their lives here, uh, particularly when it comes to finding interesting streams, but both are changing rapidly to find life easier for viewers and streamers alike. And that, that's just something that was on that I posted. Uh, yeah, and there it is. Uh, David's replying to Greg, great for people you know. And you, as a presenter, I'm aware of that. I see the at and the, the, the Twitter handle, and that's telling me that's a comment going to somebody in the audience, which uh, I think when more people use it, will be more acclimated to it. It's sort of like, uh, I don't know, I, my two adult children there, they, uh, when, they, when they're texting, they use all this uh, text uh, lingo, like, you know, it's, well, the one I, can, uh, I know is LOL, lots of laughs. But the text language and uh, the uh, emotions that David just put up, that's almost a language unto itself. And I, I find that interesting to... Uh, though I'm not a linguist or anything, but it's just interesting. Uh, one of my favorite authors, J.R.R. Tolkien, he was somewhat of a linguist, developed his own language, and I think we're going to... We may have uh, Tolkien Trivia Tuesday later on as a, a periscope. i um, I got to see how the day goes. We have a... I'm getting my day started here. Got to go out on a walk with Max here and uh, my son, 
uh, right after this uh, broadcast, and uh, we'll see what the day brings. We don't have that much of a sunny day. It's a cloudy overcast. Um, let's see. Greg, yes, was just going to ask about that. Enjoyed it. Okay, I'll make it a point to uh, any hints for this evening. No, just a continuation into the book. You know, I'm following uh, the lead of our friend Paul Omani at Omani Blog that he does with uh, the Walt Whitman poetry there, uh, uh, Leaves of Grass. And uh, I thought it would be an interesting. I've got something for a, a set of books that I could look at. It's their children's books that I used to read my, my children when they were a lot younger than they are now. But I still have them, so I thought it would be nice to do a periscope on those. Uh, and I'm trying. I'm archiving, as Greg and Dave know. I'm still a little uh, bewildered why the video is choppy, but the audio is there, which is good. I I, I think I like that. Uh, I, I I do use this program. Well, I haven't used it in a couple weeks. Uh, well, actually, two platforms: Voicebow and a pro, uh, that platform formerly known as Audio Boo. I will not say it, its current name because I detest it. I do not like it. Um, it should have stayed as audio boo, and the uh, audio's over there. I still consider boos, but uh, that's the path they decided to go, and uh, I, I'm just a free user, so I can express my opinion, not angry with them, or, you know, I wish them the best and all that, but um, I find myself gravitating more towards this thing called Periscope and using and archiving over on YouTube. I think that's a good workflow for me as far as... Uh, being having a presence and a footprint on this thing called the internet, so that's where. Uh, just want let's see, David, you should tweet Periscope about the chop. Yeah, I'm. I'm. You know, I'm not. If I was, I almost like the choppiness because if uh, I mentioned him before, Max Headroom, the first talking head. You guys, I gotta look at find out what movie he was in. But he was a little choppy in his presentation, so I sort of like that effect almost. That's why I'm keeping it. You know, it's 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 sort of, uh, oh, my God. How long have you had online audio presence? Oh, a couple years now, uh, Greg. And Greg and David, I want, and everybody else on the web, as well as uh, in this broadcast, I want you to, I want to introduce you to McCoglin. Mac is in the Periscope broadcast here, and very good to see you, Mac. Very good, sir. Uh, David, you're from the UK. Mac is up there in Scotland. Greg, you're, he's just uh, Greg is south of you, Mac, down there um, in the UK. Um, very good to see you, Mac. Uh, I was just talking about the recent updates yesterday. Yes, Greg, a fellow. Oh, I didn't realize you were Scottish, Greg. And uh, I know there's a big difference with all the things. So, uh, Greg and David definitely follow Mac. He does. He is very uh, has a very solid presence there on uh, that program, formerly known as Audio Boo. Scots are us. <laughs> but I'm just getting my day started here, Greg. Talking about the 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 updates yesterday to uh, uh, Periscope 1.0.4. And as well as expressing thoughts and concerns with uh, um, the the second earthquake this morning, a 7.3 there in Nepal. Yeah, Mac is Mac is a great guy to follow. He um, I, actually I was listening to your uh, your uh, one of your audio boos this morning, uh, Mac. And um, Mac is. Uh, has come over here and Mac I want to show you my I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera here because uh, being the first on the broadcast or first time on the broadcast I'm on my back screen and porch and this is the view I have and that's a cornfield back there what is it back there so just to give you an idea where I uh, I do audio from Greg or uh, Mac, I'm sorry, <laughs> and uh, the like. So, very great to see you here, Mac. Um, Dave and Greg, thank you very much. Let's see, we got four people in the house. We got Darren Hunter. I'm just ending Darren, so I apologize. Uh, we were talking just about the current updates of Periscope 
as well as our thoughts and concerns about uh, the, uh, the uh, earthquake in Nepal. If you'd like, you can check it out on the replay on my Periscope uh, page from this talking head. And uh, for all the web viewers, I greatly appreciate. So I'm going to finish my coffee here and get my day started here. Listen in, Rich, up a ladder just now. Listen in, Rich. You're up a ladder. You're, cl you're actually watch watching this from a, a, your iPhone. <laughs> and uh, so I'm, uh, I'm going to bid you all a uh, good farewell for this moment. Ciao for now. Uh, live life. Have fun. I will be probably doing another Periscope later. And I'll be looking forward to yours. And, Mac, uh, I, I really enjoyed your Periscope yesterday. I think everybody could still catch it if they follow Mac and they see his replay because it's on for 24 hours. So you all take care. Have fun. Or live life and have fun. Ciao for now. And peace. See you all later. And you all too, Greg. Mac and David and everybody from the web, have a great day.